The bomb yet to go down or even really step towards the site as CT has not smoked out perfectly. The CT's kind of given that one. And Rallin looking for a shot. Oh, he actually gets it as well. It's Kiabi that goes down. And once again, it's a three on three. And Telius will be at a decent plan now as well. So full retake coming in. We have got utility on the CT. There's only one kit and that's going to help tremendously through the box. MSL takes down Furlan and the spray coming in from Compact as well. This should be a successful retake for them now. So Rico, the, the bomb's not planted for him. He's yeah, going to be just done. stuck down there. MSL is watching this like a hawk. If he steps through, it's going to be over. He know, he definitely knows that. And there we go. The fuse comes in. Dignitas with a lovely bit of composition, then just kind of sitting back, not over rushing it, mm. just saying, all right, we'll just play for the retake. Good shots coming out from MSL, helping them back in towards the side. But to be fair, Vex to making this very, very close. Yeah, I actually like that approach. And then they went for the, like, the contact play. The, the, what works so well with this is, like, most teams will do their smokes at the start of the round. They, they, they bloom as you're going in. The fact that you go in like that, you're going in dry and then dropping your smokes, it buys you an extra five or six seconds while you're getting the bomb down to have that extra cover while the bomb's actually ticking down as well. So it's actually a nice approach for them. But wants to do a full retake coming from Dignitas. Another fast round here from Vex game. Yeah, Vex trying to add a bit of pressure towards mid and well it's going to be MSL to be challenged he finds a quick shot and the follow-up MSL doing massive work he can't find a third but he went for it he gets the information Furlan's still staying alive and config suddenly going to be worrying where's the rest of that team he gets a touch of information that might be enough for him but then again Rollins in a good spot they're yet to fully commit here well, two men out from MSL and he see the T's now and it's stuck between a rock and a hard place. They were trying to make something happen in the B apartments. It's going to be Rylan who's in the best position right now. We have got Furlan in ladder room as well. So we're trying to work a pick here. But Tensky does get the bomb down as well. Potentially getting a double. But it's going to be stopped by Rylan there. And now going to leave Hyper. What to play for. And a three on one. Looking at the money for Vex as well. This is a big round for them. KRB seals the deal. And finally gets Tinker has back on track after losing three in a row. So the picks from MSL, he's been great. We talk about, we mentioned him before the game, right? And saying mm. how he's been picking up this AWP role. And so far, he is consistently opening frags. Like he has had a couple of questionable decisions, but that's another quick two man there in a high pressure situation on short, and he makes it work. And it's the variety of play. It's yeah. been the B presence, it's been A hits, it's mm -hmm. been pushing up mid, maybe a little too much to some people's taste on occasion, staying out a little too long, but then made it work on the boost through from ladder room and yeah. then peeking out short. Really nicely done, but then again we're going to see Vex now with absolutely nothing. Literally as clean as you like, one flash, and that's going to be with further. Yeah, literally just trying to get the bomb down in this situation. That's all you can really hope for. Flash over, and uh, swarm the bomb site. And uh, if you can get a bomb down, that's fantastic. If you don't, it's not really the end of the world. They didn't really have much hope for this round, to be honest, with just Glocks. So, what time are we going to wait for here? Config. Intensity, neither pushing up on the B side as well. MSL being relatively calm in mid for him, considering normally he's in T spawn by this point. Pierre B, Rubinio are going to be the ones to make first contact if they do eventually start bombing through, which I can imagine will be pretty darn soon. The bomb is in Palace, so a matter of time now. Ferland's going to probably just pop that flash over whenever said time is ready, but <laughs> timing does become absolutely everything in this one. And there's the flash, they're still partially white here but they're gonna make the play through and there's a spray down coming in it does catch two kievis there and it is a massive lockdown for dignitas keeping every single vex player away and another clean one then coming for dig something they do they definitely need by this point yeah absolutely that's three in a row for dig they're kind of stabilizing their cash deficit they suffer they've got a couple of rounds in the bag now even if they were to lose this one is the replay of the nice little spray down didn't really have to work too hard for it just keep spraying your ak in the same direction <laughs> and unarmored players are glocks i'm really gonna fight back he picks up three and MSL finishes his off the job there. So Rylan back onto this AWP. Obviously, we've mentioned before, he's been great at opening up bomb sites for his team. Going to be going back towards B and hoping the MSL challenges him once again. A little bit of nade damage there. He's actually on the glass cannon this round as well, so very susceptible to grenades. As we have two players for Dignitas towards Connector. Fun and getting a good information there. Very early on, and they actually are starting to work their way up short. Tenskis going to be on the receiving end of a lot of power, and there's Hyper coming through with it. Furlan's found one other, and suddenly Vex actually working out to take mid at this point. But MSL and Config still in pretty integral positions here. MSL could change everything. But then again, keep your eyes on that bomb. Where are they heading this time? It looks like Rollins going to take himself back towards B. Config's already there, though. Let's see what Config can do. He actually only has one kill so far after nine rounds, and someone we're calling out as being one of the hot properties in this team right now, and especially towards his B-bomb site. He kind of needs to step up. Opportune moment right now, Lauren. If you can find a couple of frags here and get his team back into this round, all will be forgiven. Let's see what the young superstar can achieve this time. Ferland's found MSL, so it is going to come down to this one man shoulders, and that is swept to the side, and again, vexed. So good at cracking open this yeah. B site. And normally, okay, we give a little bit of, I guess, room to breathe the players on B. You don't often get teams going all the, you know, all the time heading that way. It's, it's normally a bit of a rarity. It might come through once and every now and then. 
but Vex have been playing that on quite a regular basis on four buy rounds, and Config is yet to make any sort of well, real the thing impact. Is, he's in the same position almost every single round in that van area, and it seems like they're just completely locking him down. He jumps up, he throws a grenade, and then they're just swarming him. They're not, there's not like two or three people there. It's actually the whole team waiting him and barraging him as soon as he tries to do anything with it. But I need to say, Dignitas do have a buy going for this round, as I mentioned before. The money was very good. Not going to be going, opting for head armor here at all. They know up against full AKs, and MSL once again. Back to being aggressive, I'm sure. We'll be flashed off for now, but should spot. There was a little bit of presence there from the T's. Hype is testing the auto by A as well. If he wants to slow play towards A, if he wants to play ahead of that, that could be quite nice, actually, at this point. Kiebi's tension has turned. Rubinho's had to pull in to watch connection. Now, MSL going to try and create that crossfire there, but the T side just trying to bait in these shots. A dangerous game to be playing with MSL in that orb, but smoke comes up on the other side. But MSL has found Fell, and the smoke's not perfect either, giving a good chance of a shot here to come through. But what well, happens, actually, the T side are falling yeah. back. Well, they are going to be opting to go back towards the A-bomb side, it seems. They don't actually have some to work with here, so it's going to be more of relying on the Rallen AWP potential. One of the players is actually... It's Kiebi. It's Sam Hyper, sorry. He's already in towards the A-bomb side, undetected, in towards the, the sandwich boxes there. So this could actually be kind of crazy. In fact, he's made a disposition. I don't think any CTs will be suspecting this whatsoever. There it is. Rubino goes down, and Hyper, somehow with this amazing positioning, has opened up the A-bomb side. It's going to come down to Kiabi. He manages to find one in that bomb plant coming what? in from Rollin. What is that? Unfortunately, he has dropped and gives Dignitas footing back into this. It's answered back, but it's going to be too little too late. And Rubo left in an almost unwinnable situation. They had plenty of time to work up there. Why did they assume the bomb side was just fully open for business there? That's crazy. I, I, li I can't answer that in any way, shape or form. It was so set up perfectly for them. Hyper had that great position, he was undetected. They didn't have to rush a plan there, so there was 30 seconds remaining still. They hadn't cleared out CD spawn in any shape or form. They'd rushed towards jungle and connector and just got caught with their pants down there. And that's a really gutting round after they worked so hard to actually open it up like that. Considering it's been consistently Kiebi either playing dark or on site, Rubino playing towards short on the stairs. It's been pretty rinse and repeat, at least towards the A setup. I'm surprised they didn't even check. That's yeah. baffling to me. And MSL is going to already find uh, quick work into this one. And Config this time going to try and take the aggressive stance. And, well, not, not hitting too much at the moment, but then again, he's, he's desperate to get into this game. And he's going to have a chance at it, but yes, he's taking that He hasn't had as no. more than one kill so far. I think there he's reveling at the idea of getting a couple of eco frags. Here. So he picks up two, boosting his confidence a little, perhaps. So it's going to be pretty simple frags. As Tensky does take down Reaper as well. And with this for that booty remaining in the A bomb site. Doesn't really amount to much. So Vex still with a decent opportunity here. They go, I think they have enough to buy here. It's not going to be fantastic. They definitely won't have the AWP, but full rifles. And we'll see what they can bring to the table this time. It's actually been ever self dignitas has been fantastic so far. Just pushing into different aggr uh, aggressive positions and making the all work out for him. It's the replay of your screen. Right now, of Convict finally arriving here, albeit with Eco Frags. Then again, I, I don't know. Dignitas are doing okay, I guess. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's just weird not seeing Convict being an integral piece in, in, in the Dignitas puzzle. It's, 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 it's all right. Like, they're still doing very well. 8 4, I can still. Get a couple more on the board. It's looking like an A attack coming in from Vex this time. Four players coming into the A ramp. It looks like they're actually going for a full smoke and skew here instead of just walking in. But this is going to be. If they're not checking for Kiebi on site, will they check for being pushed up this time into Sandwich? They do at least peek it, but they don't properly check, and that's going to be an easy kill. But the flash comes out for both sides. They're both completely right. But Rubino's going back in. Perfect flash just over the top of Tetris. He gets two, but he does eventually trade out. But by now, Four players almost looking towards A, and there we go. A nice shutdown coming through in the end. As Hyper, the last man standing, mm. he was in towards mid, but that bombs in towards A, and there's MSL again. This guy's having a great tournament. Yeah, absolutely. Looking very strong indeed for him. So it's actually kind of ironic that Vex are going for this uh, approach of getting into the bomb site before that smoke's blue. It's actually Dignitas that kind of started that trend. Style, yeah, yeah, they kind of started that trend of getting in and uh, surprising CTs there. It's Vex that are trying it out, but unfortunately for them, it looks like Rubino, he's having a fantastic game as well. Nice play from him in a high pressure situation. Good flashbangs and locks him down as they're running into the site there. So it's going to knock Vex down onto yet another eco here. They've had a lot of these going forward in this first half, but they're going to have PT50s, Desert Eagle, and one Tech 9. And it's looking like they will be hitting towards A once again. It's that B distraction coming in once more. They want to try and challenge Config, put that pressure onto him. You know he's having a little bit of a weak game. But MSL back towards the A bombs right now, ready to take down the bomb, which is currently suddenly around. Having absolutely none of what Furlan. <laughs> Repurger and sell at B, just still sticking it out. Kiebi's in dark, someone that he does play so well, Shadow, if you like to call it such, mm. but uh, smoke's going to be coming through. A close smoke as well, so MSL's going to be limited here to what he can achieve, and there's Hyper making the most of it, but they don't check for Kiebi. Again, he's got free reign to do this. First on the site, now in Shadow. Rubinho closes it from the back lines there by Jungle coming around. The bomb is on the A side, but Furlan 
Reaper are in curious positions there. Well, this is the thing. They still have a minute to play for. They haven't managed to salvage in those weapons that have been dropped by the CT. So still heavily favors Dignitas in towards this round. But they can they have the surprise element. Dig aren't 100% aware as well as the T's are. Looks like they're actually opting to... Oh, there we go. Furlan has managed to pick up a weapon here. So something to work with, something to talk about. As we do enter the 45 second mark, you can see we have got a player in the form of Tensky rotating towards window. And it's actually a really precarious position considering... That's uh, Furlan was there as well. He's going to escape with his life there. Just about a couple of seconds difference there would have meant he was dead, but managed to get away and then gets decent intel as well. Well, that okay. flash did nothing, but the shot certainly did. Yeah. So that's now going to put Rubinho into a corner, tucked in. I don't think they know his position fully. He's been very quiet towards the site. This should be like almost this a, a guaranteed round for Vex. Looking at celebrate how now they're pincering perfectly. For some reason, not checking Shadow again, again, though. How can this happen twice in one round? Rubinho. He's got to hit the shot now. He's down to oh nothing. God. Everybody gets what it. What absolute shambles of a round. Crazy stuff going on there. Not really sure what to tell you. It's Kiabi and Shadow first, completely undetected. Gets away with two. And then Rubino doing almost exactly the same thing. Good tr trigger discipline from him, but could have made something more. This is the first game you're right now of the bomb getting planted. But that f the fact of the matter is that was actually a real partial buy coming in from Beck. Didn't really invest that much into it whatsoever. So the fact they actually won that round is impressive nonetheless. So congratulations to Reaper that. Hold his nerve, and it's going to be MSL going aggressive and towards Palace. And I think Rowland's waiting for him. Both players missing their shots. Looks like Rowland had the headshot there, but it wasn't meant to be. As we enter round number 15 here. Vex may be noting that MSL has been paying a little more attention towards that A site than prior, and going to start going to be trying to apply some pressure towards mid. Already hyper playing up towards short. He's up in ladder room, and to be fair to Vex, they've got great mid control, but whether they can build from that is yet to be seen. The conversions towards the B site have been pretty spot on, but then again, will they go for it now? MSL keeping tabs towards us, but pretty passively by this point. And there is going to be a challenge by that window just on the corner. That's Furlan picking it up. Nice bit of play coming out. Now Tenski's going to be the one to have to deliver if they do make their way through short. The bomb is making its way towards that B site. Dignitas are going to have to respond to this. Yeah, it's a really decent pick there from Beck. See, they had presence in ladder room and boosting towards window as well. Just gives them that refrag potential. And even if one player goes down, someone else is there straight away to face that angle. Fortunately for them this time, wasn't even required. Great boost and good timing there. And Groovy gets a second in the round as well. Five on three. And you can see the CT is heavily favoring towards the B bomb side right now. So it's going to be one in the form of Rubino towards A. So a very difficult round. Obviously, it's all in right now. No one can save. Need to find some kills. First time Conflict's going to get to give this one a good go from that spot there with the flash popping if they do go for a play. Now looking at the time, it is going to be starting to tick down. Rubino's found Ruby trying to slowly peer, peer through towards A and kind of sell the fate, but by now they've got to realise what's coming their way. Conflict just going to go for the straight up challenge. He's going to find one at least, but now surely going to be picked up pretty comfortably. Tensky in support though will at least make this harder, but then again, look wow. how good Vexstar are doing this. And they shot it out as well. Rollins there and... They make this a much closer half than I expected. Yeah, Rylan has had a... He's been so pivotal in all the rounds they've been getting. This great all play from him. Another high-pressure situation coming out of those B apartments. And they only had seconds, 10 seconds remaining there. Looking like the CT was trying to survive as long as they possibly could. But he's landing and hitting nut shots as soon as he gets to the bomb site. Config once again, he had a great opportunity. He had players running through smokes. And that's an ideal situation for him. They're, they're under pressure. They haven't got much time to work with. And he only manages to pick up one there. He kind of wasted all of his ammunition going forward. And... Something just fell over, but it's fine. No, it's just OJ being a child. It happens every now and then. We hope for his sake that he grows up one day, but we're yet to be seeing it. Well then, 9-6 in favour of Dick. I feel like they potentially could have had a lot more than A lot of uh, wasted opportunities in that B-bomb side did seem particularly weak. I'm trying to work out whether it was Convig overfacing or playing in the same position almost every single time. It seemed like he wasn't good for that trade at all. He wasn't taking one down with him, which is almost essential if you're yeah. the anchor in towards the B-bomb side. That's why you're there. You're so confident in your ability in that bomb site to at least get one. That's the main objective when they're coming towards B. He, was, he finishes the first half on four frags after 15. Long. So that's, considering that's a heavy area of contention, that's just not good enough right now. And that's extremely uncharacteristic of this player. Mm. Even if, okay, in the game in, in, in Cobble, he had a great game. Yeah. But this one, he has truly been overrun. So, for a player like him, he's, he's a young gun. He's used to being, you know, picking up these kills. Well, that's going to be frustrating. To Vex for establishing that as a weak area for Dignitas. They, they favoured B a lot of times and they had a lot of success, especially rallying, opening up that bomb side time and time again. But here we go. We go into the second half now. It'll be Dignitas on the T side going for two utility players, three sets of armour. I'm looking like they'll be setting up potentially for an A split. They're going to be going towards underpass. And what two we players. Saw. Yeah, so the difference is, though, we've got aggression from the CTs towards the B apartment right now, seeing if they can sniff out any sort of action here. Not meant to be, though, as the smokes you assume will be coming in any second towards that A site, and they'll be exploding momentarily. 
MSL with one, that's going to be placed towards short, allowing them through connector without too much hassle coming in. And there we go, already Kiebi's going to found repo there. That's perfect. The second smoke gets put down towards jungle, and now they should have pretty much free reign towards A, and they exactly have that. They're facing towards mid. Bomb goes down, but the retake's coming in pretty well so far. Rowland's found MSL, so keeping it pretty even, but look at the CT's HP. It's starting to dwindle, and there's Convic to make the most of it. This guy is going to have a real reason to get into this round, and well, he gets shut down by Hyper, so 3v3. They do not have a kid either, so bomb ticking away here. It's a decent position for the T's. You can see them setting up accordingly. They've got basically got three lives to work with, so as soon as the fake defuse comes in, someone has a crack at it, and it's going to be Tenski to open things up. Rubino, I was about to say, should get that kill. Not going to matter, though. Just going to be Furlan remaining. He is taken down by Tenski in the end. It's a decent round there from Dignitas. He saw Vex trying to react as quickly as they can, pushing those B apartments, but unfortunately, as soon as Dignitas got the smokes down and found that first entry kill, it's very difficult to actually get back into the bomb. So you obviously got a distinct lack of utility. You've invested heavily into armor and and uh, usually a diffuse kill, which we didn't see there from Vex. But let's see how the second round goes down. They will be forced buying. Rylan, of course, the old, old player, won't be investing as heavily. They've got CZs, Desert Eagles, and a HG grenade. No particular stack coming in this round either. Just going to be holding back on the bomb sign. Dignitas, very aggressive, it has to be said. Straight up towards short, sticking together, making sure they frag effectively here. They are going to open it up by taking down Furlan. As a straight up wolf pack, straight yeah. up mid, then just trying to make the most of it. All right, Roland, just going to find Rubinio real comfortably, but MSL still snuck through. So MSL's in a bit of a bit of a situation here. It's hyper, and he's going to get attacked towards Tenski, but that's not enough at this point. Need a little bit more to make something happen here, but maybe sets up a little bit of a comfier target there for Roland, who gets another tag, but MSL pins down Groovy. So again, Vex a little bit pinned in here, trying to make the most of it, not able to recover too much just yet, but MSL's still on the prowl, going to find another, and at the moment, Rylan and Groovy just looking for maybe exits, anything well, they can gather. At this point, when you've got a CZ and armor, it's more valuable to sail it to the next round. MSL going to be denying, denying that, though. His teammate went very emphatically up towards short, finding that opening kill. Like you said, the Wolfpack mentality there, smoke off connector, get up as quickly as you can, and the AKs are always going to win those battles as long as you're sticking together and making sure even if the first one goes down, you're answering back straight away. And it was MSL holding the connector area, stopping any rotations and that potential to save any of the upgraded pistols they had there. So there it is. We are going to see... Dignitas has winning both pistols here. Vex now on pretty much a full eco. Looking like an A-sided attack. You assume they're going to go pretty quickly here. Smoke over and let Kiabi go in and cause havoc. Yeah, it's zero investment from Vex. So they're well, just they running have got, They have gone aggressively up towards middle. Yeah. So they tried something here, but it's the wrong call at this point. You might as well, I guess, at this point. You, know? I mean, you might as well try and get something rather than just playing default. But then again, it will be a comfy round from Dignitas, I can imagine. But then again, Rylan and Furlan are going to try and take the long road here. Config's already keeping that in mind, as you can see on the minimap. He's the player down by that T side of things. He will be getting the kills. And the three players going to try and form the retake from CT. It's not going particularly well. Kiebi's just man moding up and just taking the one taps here. Is now down to two. So going to be collected. And now Rylan, last man alive. He's quite a nice little sort of nice. He wanted that little bit of cash that's injection, over. right? Like, this is, that's just like the Hail Mary play. <laughs> see what you can do with it. Did get a stab off, but not going to amount to too much. So then, we enter the first official gun run here. Rylan back on that AWP. His team definitely on the back foot here, so I'd say he may go for something a little bit more aggressive. You can see they haven't got a single kit. They want to have that man advantage going forward. They want to make sure a full execution can't come in. They're up against it. They haven't got a single incendiary. And uh, he's going to be heading towards the B bomb side. It doesn't like that's where Dignitas are looking to opt as well. They've actually committed all five players towards the side. So this is quite... Uh, a common procedure, you go into that first gun run, you want to do something like quite fast, a full execution based strategy here to set the tone for the rest of the game. So let's see whether he's going to hold this one off. Rollin, that was a big moment for him then. He's going to have to back out of this one and give the site over to the Danes who are pouring in by the dozen. Berlin's sticking it out, but not going to have much luck on that one. And Repo, very quiet. I'm not sure why we're watching him for a second, but there we go. Hyper's in amongst it in config again, falling towards his B site. He's got to be okay. sick of that going on, but then again, 3v3 now. Maybe Vex are going to be going in on this one. Well, they haven't got a kit, as I mentioned before, so they need to act fast. It is a three on three, being held off by the Molotovs. KRB still has one in his arsenal as well, so potentially they're going to chuck that one down and slow them down even further. They need to be finding frags in the next few seconds here. The CT is going to be having a very difficult procedure going forward. This is not going to be too easy at all. One flash left on the CT side to make anything happen. With Reaper's in a good spot. He can really change out Kierby pretty comfortably, but no! Kierby just absolutely rails him down. Tenski finds Rowland, and now Groovy just going to be swept to the side. Rubinho there to close it down. And just now Dignitas starting to pick it up. This is the 
last time around, they won the pistol, then dropped the first gun round. Yeah. This time, they've managed to convert it to four. Yeah, very nice round for them as well. Getting into that B area, they went for the full execution to kick things off. And it's actually perfect. Considering the AWPO is there, facing the B apartments, he gets flashed off. He's in a really difficult position there. It's really difficult to fall back in and get an advantageous position when you're on AWPO in that situation. It was a really nice execution for them. They get in, and it's still a three on three, right? But they just play such defensive positions and utilizing the Molotovs they had. Molotov goes on the bomb. That spoiled them so much more time as well. I know they mentioned they got this really high pressure situation for the CTs. And once again, another full execution coming in here, Molotoving every position, flashing over, and uh, forcing the CTs to face her. Got a feel for Gruby, and uh, I believe it's Raland tucked into the side here, just yeah. holding on for dear life. And after you've been mollied out of dark, there's so few places you can just sit and wait. And Vex know that now. As they are down to the Deagles, the CZs, a couple of pieces to maybe make some damage happen with, but at the moment, it looks like Dignitas have just kind of pulled, uh, pretty much just tightened up everything at this point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, their execute towards A have just been pretty crisp. They're not doing anything crazy, but they're just playing very they're, they're well They're just making overall. sure they eradicate every Correct. single um, like possibility that could be there. So they're making sure they, they, they monotop towards Shadow. They smoke up all the key positions, flashing over, using the arsenal advantage they have going into the bomb sites. It's making sure there's no chance whatsoever of Vex doing anything in this round. And it, it's really refreshing to see them actually completely clinically take over that bomb site. So round number 21 here. Dignitas one run away from map point. It's going to be a double orb setup coming in for Vex here. So a change of pace with them. It's going to be Hyper joining Rylan here. So let's see where they decide to go. It's going to be, it was Rylan who had a difficult time towards that B bomb site before. And this time it's going to be himself going towards the top of the middle here. A little gap in that smoke, and I think he still can see something with this. The player's kind of hiding behind him, but nothing's really to report as of yet. Well, Hyper's going to be pretty much just holding onto the B amps while this happens. He's been found by Tenski. That's not what you want. Now, Furlan's kind of in a predicament. Everyone has to now work off the back of it. As look at Dignitas just taking over mid so readily off the back of this, mm. knowing that the players are going to have to adjust. Already got players pushing up towards window, players in towards ladder room. Kiebi's going to smoke towards A keep them at bay. Rubino can keep them busy as well, bearing in mind that means that the AWP in the hands of Rylan can't really do too much, but Ferlin has recovered one here. Well, they're just kind of biding their time right now. Obviously, we talk about the CT reaction having to come in once you lose a player, and this is exactly what Dignitas are waiting for. They're waiting for the CT to either push apartments or lower ramp. You can see Rubino is up in Palace. They've got the whole map covered right now, waiting for this aggression to come in the CTs. They know they need to find something here, so just going to make sure that you make the most of this one minute they have remaining. They still have a couple of smokes and flashbangs as well. Finally, though, Furlan coming to life. It's going to be Tensky taken down by himself in the B apartments, but not going to matter too much. You can see his teammates go to go in towards Connector and Ladderum now going to be pincering this A bomb site with Rubino in Palace. Repo's in trouble. That player in Palace actually doesn't check it, but he finds Furlan pretty quickly. And there we go. Swept clean is the A side as the three players made their presence duly noted. The bomb goes down and a lovely little switch up from that, a little bit of a B presence as soon as they lose out on a couple of kills here and there. Yeah. Just switch over towards A and there's the bomb plant and now these two are left with not very many other options in saving. Uh, yeah, absolutely right. There's going to be full loss bonus after this round. So they can save these, they can potentially drop these weapons and kind of have something to work with. But it's going to bring Dignitas to map points here at 15 a 6. You feel like this one is all but done. But they still save an orb. Can make something happen if there was hype in the drop first. He was the... The secondary AWP in this round didn't really make it much happen. He got taken down by Tensky with the AK straight away. Furlan going to be recovering it. He does something, does take down Rubino, but at this point in the game, I think Dignitas has got so much money. I can see Rubino actually has $10,000, and that's pretty much a similar note for the rest of his players as well. So they're more than justified going for the hunt for the CTs in this scenario. So they managed to save the rifles and the AWP as well, so you can distribute that wealth accordingly and uh, force up with the Famuses. But one round required for Dignitas here to finish things off. It's going to be Rylan with the AWP once again so i'd imagine we'll see like another looser play from dignitas maybe go for that a play where they normally go in contact and uh go for the late smokes or maybe just go for that bxq once again let's see what kind of methodology they're pointing this round they seem to have such a, a a nice kind of pull to pull from when they yeah. do go to this so ron this time he did have to back out of this sort of spot prior but he's going to try and stick this one out a little longer now no one's smoking out the window just yet but dignitas not showing their full hand all that early on they still have three players trying to get that mid control and it is going to be on the other end. Rahlan there. Furlan's pulling up as well. The Reaper holding it. So you've got three players actually on the CT side trying to watch towards mid. Now, this should be a good contest coming out from Vex. They should be able to do something. Nice little flash will slow him down. Repo's going to hear this. But can they do anything about it? This is the big play. Can they actually stop this? They're going to see that molly coming up from possibly underpass or the smoke, excuse me. So in theory, they should have a good idea what could be coming their way. And it's going to be on to Furlan to keep everything in check there's two players here henry this yeah. could be huge but msl just finds him instantly it's the exact same set of this around before rubino's towards a tensky's holding the b apartment they get that ladder room control and now it's up to hyper he's a little bit of a snake in the grass here he does manage to 
spot players going into that ladder room towards the window. It's going to be Ripper that opens it up. A convict answering back straight away. And here comes the backstab. Can he do more of this? He actually can. That could salvage the round here. Goes down to a three on two in favor of X Gaming. Rubino with decent positioning on the A bomb side. The problem is the CTs have the bomb towards middle. And that's going to seal the deal as Repo takes him down. And going to leave Tensky with it all to play for now. Great adjustment in the end from pretty much Repo and Hyper coming through. Great. And then nice little crossfire just on the fly pretty much in the window off the back of the control coming out towards ladder. So now Tenski 1v3, not going to have a shot at it. Hyper will get one on the board here. Something duly needed Absolutely. as Dingtas are on 15 rounds now. Vex looking to turn up a little bit more into these rounds as money looking a little scarce, enough to scrape something together here. But again, looking over at the Dingtas side, they're still pretty well set. Absolutely, you can see they've got a nice full buy here. So much cash to play with. And obviously Vex can't afford to drop a single one here. So it's looking like another Tactical based execution, aggression coming in from the CTs towards the top of middle. It's going to be MSL to defend them. He hasn't got the obvious style, he's got full AK and he gets the first pick and he's going to be Molotov. He should be taken down here. There it is, through the gap in the smoke. Furlong does capitalize, but unfortunately for him, on the other side, it's going to be Tensky opening things up and the CTs out of position now and going to be smoked out of the A bomb side. And look at this dig playing ahead of the smokes. They've just gone and switched it up again. And here comes the retake, but Config just goes and faces Rollin Falls and now we're down to two. Furlong at least gets one back by this point, but it is still a 3v2 and the bomb is planted. A lot going for Dignitas here, but Hyper and Furlan have a touch to work with. They still have a Molly here or there. They have the Diffuse kits. They have a little bit of time, but they do need to go for this. Furlan taking the long road around. Tensky and Rubinho are going to be walking into this one. Tensky's found him now. It's just down to one. Hyper, your last man standing in this, and Rubinho's going to close it. There's Dignitas with a comfortable victory in the end. That first half looks a little shaky, Henry, but... They seem to get down to business on their T side. Absolutely. Their T side was just impeccable at that stage. They had a very clean 3 0 going forward in that first gun round. That B execution coming in the set piece was worked perfectly for them. That really dented the CT economy. And after losing both pistols, they just didn't really have much to work with going forward. A lot of force by situations. The T half.